I'm kind of stuck too with that the triple, yeah, or is it quadruple? There's like four different weapons. Yeah. Right, this guy's gonna move up to here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this guy's gonna dismount. What so one, two, three, four, five. You still got half like left. What, what weapon do you want to use? So yeah. he's not in the T62. He's now on the ground on his own. Got it. So he'll just get the benefit from being in, the, okay. in that. Uh, Basically, they had bills. They had roads. Well, it was also kind of. You know, All right, back to you. If you would like to uh, try something. No, the only guy that can see anything has uh, crawled. Mm -hmm. He's in great shape there. He's, he's <laughs> hanging out, eating the ear of corn. Your turn. Can you imagine if we had to all go down to the village green down there and practice the plus once a month the weekend a month? Go out there. Yeah. Attractive somebody to buy more Oh, what are you millimeters between them? Okay. It's a range of, well, you said 10, right? 10 for the M60. And then you just have to go center, so it's going to cross over at least one X, possibly two. And line of sight blocked after a second. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, they're both behind. That's behind. So. That's fine. Okay. Pass. The guy is breaking into a lawyer's house. And he's sitting there in the candle, you know, with the lamplight working on Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's trying to get it. Then I have to roll a death check. Yeah, but it's only 34 percent. And if I hit it, it doesn't do that much damage. If I had a gun, it's worth more. You know, so I'm taking lesser odds for potentially more profit. Higher payoff. Yeah, higher payoff. He's right. playing the uh, five dollar slot. Yeah, that's it. High risk. High okay. risk. I'm not going to hurt. One in eighteen of knocking out a gun. I'm not going to hurt those janissaries anyhow. The way to calculate is what's the chance of knocking out the gun? Times the point value. I don't think you can knock it out. Like, do I keep yeah. flustered yeah. up or not? Yes. But that's far too much work. I just rolled up. I wasn't actually doing the job. I just put my guys forward and see what happens. I just rolled a bunch of dice hope I win. That's the way to do it. Turn two, sir. So that's a one, two, three, four, five, six. Is there an optimal range for the wall? Yeah, I mean, you can just check it out. And he's just going to do an assault move. Right, so we're moving forward. Um, if you're going to shoot at me, I got something. You just look on the back. Oh, that's right. It's on the tech. So, counting on that stuff on the back is cool. One or two is the best range. Three, four is the middle bracket. Because it's always oh, right. whatever's less. Right. So, the optimal range is one or two X's, and then three or four is an X best. But then you're going to shoot at me, so I'm going to fire at you first. Because you're a punk, and you deserve it. So let's just try that. Let's flip, 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 let's flip the little counter over. There's a, uh, and I didn't do it for this game yet, there's a guy that, so you don't have to flip the counters over all the time, he puts together a chart that's got all the ordnance on it. I printed it. I did. Yeah, I, I forgot to bring it. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'll print it off at work and use their, yeah. Well, 
Make two, get me one. Because he just he just updated it because he made a mistake on the uh, Oh did he? Yeah. On the original one? Yeah. Yeah, I'll print it off. Yeah, that'd be cool. Now, okay, so let's do this again. So so this is the range is across three, the top. Four, five, you're at six hexes. Six hexes. Which right. means you're using the last column. Right. Which means you have to roll three or below to hit. Right. If you had a leader, that could help. Yeah. But then you're gonna get penalties because I moved. So when you look at the order, you're saying table, you're saying because your your little guy moved, yeah. it makes it harder for me to hit. Yep. So it says mark of moved or assault move mark is a plus one. He's not in any terrain. So now you would have to roll a one, which is impossible. You'd have to roll snake eyes to hit me at that range. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay, well that's like so I, I need to just take the shot then. What you're saying It's just I need to take. Absolutely. Let me know where you're at so my infantry can shoot back. And you get you get plus modifiers, right? So now, so well, I wouldn't get plus modifiers. I would just be able to see you to shoot. See me to shoot at me, right? Okay. And if he shoots at you because he uses a, an ordnance weapon, then you would pick up the acquired marker, which means in the next turn I know you're there. I don't have to spot you again, and I get a, a minus to shoot at you again. So that's why it's sort of true. With ordnance, and it works the same way. You can shoot at me, and you'll get that same bonus. Right. But as soon as I move, you'll lose it. Right. But if I sit there, then you need a two or three. What's the tracking? That's the little tracking thing. I thought that a law is... That little thing. Don't they count? Yeah, anything that uses the ordinance table. Right. So what it is is there's two of them for right. each letter. So you'll get the acquiring marker, right. and I would get the acquire. Well, you get the one that says minus one. Right. And then if you shoot out again, it's minus two. So... Okay. It really helps if you're shooting at stationary stuff like right. HE weapons into a building that a squad's probably not going to evacuate. Okay. All right. We'll carry on. Far away. I'll just sit here. I'll just sit here and take it, like I always do. Coward. Yeah, snake eyes. You know, I'm not that into percentages, but snake eyes is really. Yeah, it's not good. These guys are unarmored light cavalry. They're unarmored cavalry. Bow and sword. They have bow. They have bow and sword. No bow. These are unarmored what? Unarmored cavalry, uh, bow and swordsman. Or armor. They got more shields. Uh, for a track vehicle. Now you know if you're in a single line, you can bang. I did not like that. It's cavalry. Yeah, not not some certain kinds of horse and gendarmes. And then you are like knights. You fight best. Right, but we can't evade. You can never evade. Never evade. But you don't get anything for the second rank. If these hit them, they will yeah, that's not good. Cards. If it's going to be 11 to there. Turkish thing would be to evade. I'm going to do that. I'm going to take my chance. These guys move up 11 to there. They're tired. And uh, unfortunately, now I presume Fred's are fully armored, right? It's buttoned. Right. I'm just going to say uh, these two guys are buttoned up. Right. And then uh, M60 got to anything against that, right? It can, only if it was open, right? Because then you're soon to be picking off the two guys with their heads up right. top. Right. But uh, yeah, with while they're all buttoned up, then uh, small arms are doing to them. If it wasn't buttoned, then you would just use your firepower versus the, the lowest armor value mm -hmm. plus the terrain that I'm in. Okay. 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 But he is closed up on you. Yeah. And this guy can't have any effect either because he's just going to shoot yeah, the same, gonna, same deal. Right. Mm -hmm. All right. So, okay, I thought there was something where I guess it wouldn't hurt you. Right. <laughs> Now, if, if he were looking for me... He's just using right the double time because he's with a good order. He can't see me. He rushes up there, so these guys are both... And even if he were okay. Now, you still have an opportunity to fire here. Mm -hmm. All right. so and because I assault move, though, it'll fire at a penalty, but he'll still be able to shoot opportunity. Well, he can opportunity fire, right. but as soon as you shoot, he's going to see where it came from. Right. And lay into it himself. So that's my five. Yeah. So you got, what, the M60 in there? Yeah. So you'd be at three firepower. Yeah. Plus one for moving is four, so you're going to roll, plus the moving is five, so you'll roll 1d6 plus five, and I've got nothing because I'm in the open. And then you get to fire back, I mean, blow the building up, right? Only as this guy could, yeah, yeah, but you're in, a, you're in a red dot building, which gives you a plus four modifier. So one, two, three, four, five, six, a range of six. 
gives me a base number of 8. Minus 2 for assault moves, now I'm down to a 6. 4 for the building makes it a 1 or a 2 that I'd hit you on. Now I know you're there. One of your guys has a hit. So it would be pretty tough for me to hit you. It's the same odds you guys yeah, yeah, had with yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. Well, let's do, let's do that. Let's, well, have, let's have fun. Let's shoot something. So come, let me just walk through this so I, I learn it. Mm -hmm. So I got uh, a base 5 power of 3. So he's got the, the 1. Does that and skill the, do anything for yeah, you? Yeah, it gives you... Uh, it, it's any two hexes that are adjacent, so it doesn't have any right, so it doesn't take any meet all the requirements for fire, blah, blah, blah. If the hero positions himself, he, it applies only to himself. Okay. Yeah. So, so what you're going to do is firepower of whatever squad or man you're using. Yep, three. So that's one. One, sorry. Plus the weapon is two. two. Right. So now you're up to 1d6 plus 3. Okay. You're firing out of a smoke hex, right. which is a negative. So now you're 1d6 plus 2. Okay. My guy has got the move marker, 1d6 plus 3. Okay. Uh, is that it? 1d6 plus 3? Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking at this. So it's all of these DFTs. Yeah, so you're just going to go through those and see if any of those apply. I don't have any terrain modifiers. Okay. I'm not in the That's smoke. Good. So we're doing 1d6. Yep. And then you'll add 3 to yours. You didn't bring my lucky die, dang it. You can go buy another one up there. I'm sure they sell lots of them. <laughs> one is awesome, right? So we've got four. So what? There you go. And I've got one. So it's plus three. So I roll plus three for each of those guys. In. Okay, now plus three, and that goes on this table here. Yep. And it's so you against start the with the leader. Yep. yep. So the lead first, right? Is a nine. nine. So he's going to be shaking. Right. And you can just go over here and look at the... Well, okay, so hang on. So there's three... Yes. Yep. So it says the number is a nine. Got it. So you go to three times. Good order right, single. Right. Good order single. Yep. And it's greater than his morale, yep. but not twice his morale. So he's shaking. So he's shaking. Okay. So bing, he's on his flip side shaking. Okay. Now every squad does the same. So, so an eight. So he's going to be shaking. Right. <laughs> and then same for the next guy is a six. So he's shaking. He's shaking. He's shaking. Right. But they give him the undrilled characteristics. Okay. So they've all got the old shaking. And make more. Okay, and this guy gets marked as fired, right? Yep. Well, also, regulars that are drilled get expanded, but also after 1495, no one ever charged that order. Alright, so now you're done because that was your turn. We're going to shoot cannons. Oh, she's going to shoot It's my turn, right? So the assault move. Now, what I can do here is I could fire my machine gun and the cannon at you. The cannon is pretty much a non starter. It's not going to hit anything, but still, I might try just to get the acquired thing. The machine gun, because the assault moved, would be firepower 2, minus 2, so it's zero. So I'd roll 1d6, and you would roll 1d6 plus 4. Okay. So I'm going to try just to roll snake eyes. Okay. Not going to happen. So you missed and you fired. He's going to get the acquired. So I guess uh, this is going to be going because he's fired now. Right. And now I'm going to fire the machine gun at you, okay. which is a four. So you get one d6 plus four. One d6 so plus four. Nothing is six. Okay. So yeah, he's done. Now. Okay. So now it's back. But next turn you get a modifier. Yep. Next so time when I shoot at unless you, I, unless I move. Yeah. If you move, I, I'll lose the modifier. Right. This doesn't help the machine gun, it only helps the ordnance. Right. Okay, so it's now my turn. I would like to charge them, but I'm not in range. Are there any vulnerabilities for when your so we, unit's shaken? Yeah, they just they take casualties faster. Oh, that's right, it's on the DF2 chart, right? right, right. So now, what, so you've... All of these guys are done. Yeah, I'm done. I You're done. I can't I, do anything. Yeah, I've got this guy here. If I, if I wanted to, I could fire a power of strength of two at these guys, right? Yeah. And you could fire the law at them. Too. And if you shoot the law at them, you use the the, the uh, HE equivalent, right? Not a penetration. Okay. So you would shoot. You would start with the the inherent firepower. Right. So one d six plus two. He's not in the smoke. Plus one for movement, so you'd be one d six plus three. Okay. And then you would shoot using the backside again for the ordnance table. Right. But if you hit, you just use the high explosive. The red, which is a seven to hit versus a three. Yeah. So right. you're at one two three four. Right. So you find, yeah you need a seven and then seven or less, right? So the target is moved with a mark the move, so it'd be a plus one year old. Right. So you need two d six. So it's one d six. Uh, two plus. Uh, 
It's going to be plus three all together. three. Okay. Now you have to buy another set of ways. It's five. And then I just got 1d6, roll the two. So plus three. I got another plus three. All right, now you <laughs> so I start the whole stack in with the leader. He's now shaken. So he's fine. Right, because he won't look. Yep, so that's a five. And that's a five, so he's fine. Okay. And that's an eight. So it's good. now you go over to the shaken side, right. and he's got greater than his morale, but not twice his morale, so it should be a casualty. Right. So he goes so back. He goes to a Hafi. Yep. That goes to a one four four. Still on his shaken side. Okay. Well, so they're, they're not going to expand. They just walk, they just kind of confuse. Yeah. If he's shaken, doesn't he pee his pants and drop the RPG? No. No. Okay. Just take it. <laughs> and then now we now I need to roll two dice. Uh, six or six or less. Need a six or less. And that's not it. Nope. Okay. So those guys are five. We'll just leave it for now because we're we're done, right? Two dice. Uh, one die. It's a one. It says roll one d six and move the event marker one hex in the indicated direction. One or a two is southwest. So north, east, southwest. So it moves into that building. Okay. And then I. Event marker cannot enter heavy construction building and rubbles any light construction building it enters. Ah. <laughs> Everyone, look at this face. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keep your children open. Oh, fire two. Just cause. Just cause. Just cause it would be cool. Mm -hmm. Take a hot piece of wire. All right, this guy is gonna go. Uh, Take ten minutes. One, two, three, four. Now the church is like. Well, hang on a second. Okay. And you could yeah, find I'm a bunch of guys that got a lot of so just got uh, yeah. white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've gone out of focus. Why, why are we doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me now? They shoot. They can lose roll of lights, which they don't need. They kind of, what they make up in space, they lack coherency or something. Okay. Uh, I will need five. I will need five stitches. Three hits. Whoa. Okay. Uh, cool. All right, so that you'll be able to see through this guy. I can see you. Yeah, you just be firing through one big yeah. rating. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All these are TCs. So you got the rear support. And then you would get to have an opportunity to fly back with this guy, right? Yeah, I'd see it that way. Yeah. 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 Um, let's see. Let's, have, let's, let's do the ads. Let's do the. Let's see if it's a. You'd have your. Number. You'd have your leader. Right. You'd have the M60. So there's plus three. Right. One for the moving. Plus four. Through one hex of degrading terrain. Back to plus three, and then whatever that Slayer thing does. I, think, I don't know if it gives you any pluses. Uh, I think it just lets you get another hex and opportunity fire or something. What a strange thing! I don't know how that happened. I think it just means if if you shoot into this hex, if I move into any of the adjacent hexes, you can engage that guy too. I got a five, so I roll a plus one right for damage. So a six, so he's shaken. And he okay. can pass, he's fine, and since it's a one, he might create a hero. So right. An even roll. Yeah. All oh, right. We have a Soviet hero. I didn't know there were such things. Hey, hey, hey. All right, so there's two of them that can possibly pop out, so I'm just going to go even numbers. It's Yuri, odds, it's Drago. Drago sounds scary, doesn't he? So even. Yuri. <laughs> Add one to the morale of this man and subtract one from his spotting attacks. Okay. But I can move closer to him. Absolutely. He's a, he's a stud. Stud muffin. All right. We have one more guy to roll for. Was that it? Nope, that was it. Okay, cool. All right, so... And now you have, now you have a lead. Now you have a, a hero down there. Well, it's nice as he can rally that yeah. squad yeah. now. Yeah, or at least attempt to. Okay, so we're at the five mark, so go. But they tended to make more of the light horse cavalry in this. Like the Polish army. So it's a minus, so it's a plus four, minus, so it's a plus three, and I need an eight or better with a plus three. So I'd have to roll a five or below, or a six or below, 50% chance. Let's give it a shot. Uh, four, yeah. No, I'm not. Next Sweet, and that's how you do it. No, I'm sorry. All right. So he fires the main gun. Okay. 
doesn't use penetration. It uses the fire, the HE value of three. Right. HE, you don't get any bonuses for the terrain that you're in. So I've got 1d6 plus three. You get 1d6, and then after that, I'll go in there with the machine gun and try to clean up the mess. So plus three, seven. Six. All right. So you have to roll with a plus one. But you've got a hero on there, so okay, just, uh, you should be able to do it pretty well. Seven. So that's what his morale is, right? Six. So I think he just gets wounded. Where he's got wounded on the other side. All right. And then uh, I'm going to fire at him with the machine gun. Okay. So I get 1d6 plus 2, and you get plus 4. So 7. All right, so this goes to a minus 2 now. And this is fire. All right, now I am going to let you carry on. Are you passing him? One hit with each, so that's two Okay. That's two hits. Nobody tests for them. Yeah. Nobody tests for them. Alright, this guy moves up to there. You are, you get one base with. Oh. Nope. You wouldn't be getting anything. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to hit anything anyhow. Are you sure? And you're like that. Like that. Oh, so yeah, that's blocked. Yeah, Nobody yeah, wants to get Give us your crossbow here. Yeah, right, so this guy I think is going to assault move. Yeah. Let's go one, okay. two, three, right. My turn. Four. These guys cannot shoot. Three guys. And you. Right. So he assault moves to there. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's such a chicken shit. <laughs> Oh, that guy sitting in the building over there? Boom! I got this 150 millimeter gun for you. Good <laughs> news for you, pumpkin. No, they're in the open. Okay, all right, good. All right, now we're going to fire these guys again. All right. So all you have is a 1d6 plus 2, because they haven't moved. All right. So they're just going to do the squad first, right? Yep. Five, seven. Seven, two, so you get a plus five, which ain't gonna be good for any of them. So eleven for the leader. So eleven for the leader. So that's either gonna wound him or kill him. Yeah, gotcha. Good order. So it's a what are, what are, what is he It's a hero or shaken single man. So he's wounded. Uh, oh, shaken. All right. So his leadership is gonna uh, suffer a little bit. So he's wounded. Okay. And then uh, what do you say? Is plus five? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So the next guy is a 10, so he's going to take casualties. Right. So he takes casualties and remains shaken. Okay. Ultimate version comes out. And then that guy's probably going to die. Oh, look at that. I might get another hero. Oh, cool. So he's going to be a 6, so he's probably dead. Yeah. So he dies. Yes. Then I'll roll. No, that's right. Alright. Plus one. Plus one. Six. Oh, they are. And now you can fire the law at them if you want. Okay. And you just leave them all out. So you, have to, you might have to roll again after you hit them with a. Uh, yeah, I was just looking. I was trying to see what the counter said. I hadn't actually read that before. Okay, uh, or I could fire the law at these guys, right? Yep. Sport weapon. Or these guys. Ordnance can fire to different hacks. I'll fire this hex. Alright, so it's at 1, 2, 3, 4. So, uh, what do we got? We're at 4, which I think is the middle bracket. So you need a 7, and it's a plus 1, so you need a 6 or below. 50% chance of it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. 7. You get nothing in like it. Okay. There we go. Just do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, when I play solo, I almost never use the bar. I just keep trying. Yeah. Um, well, all right. that's, that's all I got. All right. I'm gonna uh, try and clean your hero out here. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna start with the machine guns, just because they're easier. I don't have to flip the counter over. All right. So the first machine gun's a four. 
Uh, minus two for assault uh, moves. So I've got one to six plus two. You get a plus four. Plus two, I got four. You're gonna, no matter what you roll, you're good. And then I'll roll 1d6 with nothing for the other machine gun. So a five and a five, nothing happens. And now, one, two, three, four, five. So I need a 10 or below, but I get a plus two. The vehicle's button, so I don't get any benefit there, so I need an eight or below. Got it, so you're hit, right? So you pounds that round in there and he's got a 5. So 1d6 plus 5 and you don't have anything. So plus 5 is a 7. So plus 2 for your morale. For your check. Plus 2 shaking good shaking hero, right? Yeah, heroes never shake. He just goes to that. Oh, right, okay. And what, what's, what, was, what was the total? Uh, difference of 2. So you got 1d6 plus 2. All I can help for is that he gets wounded again and dies from it. Yeah, I guess it's a wound, right? Yeah, two wounds kills a guy. Yeah. Die roll. So, so, yep. So you'll roll 1d6 and add two. So he's fine. Yep. But I get the, uh, there's a. Uh, <laughs> I'm scared, Captain. Okay, that's a, that was your move. Mm -hmm. Bruh. You get screwed on that deal. Okay. But there's always the chance. All right, survive. so we got the, you got the hit with this tank. Yep. And let me just All right. see here. So if the attacker rolls a one and the target rolls a six, the round is a dud. If the attacker rolls a six and the target a one, the round is a catastrophic hit and the round and the target is destroyed. Okay, so it's a, so you're gonna roll I need to roll again. You'll have, no, you'll have one d six plus what was it fourteen? Fourteen. And I'll roll one d six plus two. Okay. Now when you roll your one d six, if your roll is a one and mine is a six when I do mine, it's a dud. Nothing, nothing happens. happens. If it's a catastrophic hit, everybody dies. Right. There is no bail. We like the we like the everybody dies scenario. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. All right. So let me get the audience chat so we can follow this. I don't think it's gonna be the only modifiers are two hit, not penetration. So you just roll for penetration now. So it's just one d six plus fourteen. One d six plus fourteen. I'm gonna do that now. So, that's so it's gonna be eighteen. Right. The best I can roll yes. is an eight. Right. So he's, it's, it's gonna blow him up. It's gonna blow him up. Right. So he's dead no matter what. So I just roll. And an even is uh, bail out checks. If the vehicle is destroyed on an even die roll, flip the character to their shaken side, place them in the rex hex, and mark them with a move marker. So they survive. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. So, we get a. Uh, you know, we thought you were just kidding. So, the BMP goes up in flames. So, we're, I'm just going to put it on this side because it's not yeah. smoking. I don't want to ruin our. Uh, so, he goes to the shaken side, it's blown up, and they are marked as moved. Well, that, okay. Got in there. Got three. All right, I'm coming in. Yeah, I wanted to uh, fire the 40 millimeter first, but I had to take it. That's a hard thing to pass up. Yeah. Because all I was gonna do, if you didn't blow it up, was go this way. Right. Because once I move here, I'm out of line of sight. Yeah. So I had to and then I just shot. move up, try and hit these things and assault in. Yeah. yeah. All right, so I'm coming in with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sergeant York says, bring it! So I'm going after the squad, so he doesn't factor into this right now. Okay. So it's seven to two, so I've got three to one. Okay. You're going to get hit once. Three to one. I need uh, five or better. Three. <laughs> winning. Can you say winning? Yeah. All right, so here's what you can do. you got choices. I get choose, right? So these are your choices. You're gonna have two, three. So you can go three on four or three on two. Right. So we would do three on two, right? Yep. So three to two odds. You need a seven or better. Seven or better. Lucky. This is when it all comes together for the Americans. Hot dogs and candy for everybody. That's all I can say. Got them. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's awesome. That's uh, Don't. Yeah. Back your country ass out. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, actually, you stay in the hex and we're engaged. Yeah, we're, uh, now. We'll, just, we'll keep fighting next turn. Right. All right, back to you. All, All right. right. They can't shoot. That's just sorry. But these guys can. Obviously, can't find my 40 millimeter now. So let's go to plan B, which is. Pass. Pass. <laughs> Nothing I can do with this guy. You know what? No. Yeah, he's done. And nothing I can do. You know, I'm gonna. Yeah. Okay, we're running away. Okay. Let me roll my guy. To heal. All right. So as you just want to assault move or low crawl? Um. I would assault move. All right. Let's just like one, two, three, four, five. If I'm disrupted, I have to make a Five to two. I'm gonna go uh, one, two, three, four, and reinforce the melee. Okay. Now, what happened? So, explain the reinforce. Uh, so you to me. So, a hex can only have one melee battle per turn. Right. So, it doesn't cheat you because you can always counter attack. Sure. But you can move more guys in up to your stacking limit, right. your stacking limit, not right. the hex stacking limit anymore. So you can put two squads in there, I can put two squads in there. But what it does is when you reinforce it, it doesn't do anything right. until the next, next turn. turn. Then if you get the initiative and attack me and kill my guy off, if I reinforce in theory, there'd still be somebody there. Got it. But now what you, next could, round. What you could do, because I already moved my guys in, I'm done. Right. You could try and retreat out if you wanted to. Right. But you you move out. You make a morale check to move right. out. Move into an adjacent hex. If I had anybody in there that, in theory, could opportunity fire, then they could opportunity fire at you if you tried to move Okay. So if in that last melee, yep. the first round, if you had held one guy back and not used him. Well, he would have moved in. So he would have been done anyway. Yeah, so, we're, so everybody in next there is turn, done. Next turn, you yeah. would be able to fire at So me. we go to turn four. Right. Even though they're in melee, everybody right. is still able to activate. Right. So let's say you get the initiative and say, if I stay here, I'm dead. Right. My odds suck. So, so you bail out. out and try and get into right. this heavy building. Just, right. Pass your morale check, you jump out. Both my guys could shoot at you for right. opportunity fire. Right. So everybody's locked in there now. Nobody can get out. Right. But my, my, but these guys, these guys can't do anything this turn. Right. But next turn. You could. Next turn, if I get the initiative first, right. as long as you don't fight the melee, you right. can run away. Got it, because that was my activity. I was trying to Your activity was to counter. Yeah, that. I was trying yeah. to rock that. Okay, cool. Yep. If I chose not to counter, I have to, though. You have to. Okay, yeah. got it. One, two, three. You're going to spot him there? I would say he probably can. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. I'll let you shoot because then everybody else is going to be able to move up if you so desire. Is that the full extent of your movement? Yep, to that. Yeah, because he was here, so I have one, yeah. two, three, three, four. I want a solid line, not just them, but themselves, where they get shot at by three people. You don't have the night spirit. That's true. Now that I have the path to charge, because the rules are screwed up, I don't have to. All right. Very good. Very good. Well, I really do that, but if I charge down there. It's that chess match of, do I get him to shoot? Yeah. That's all. When I'm on defense, I wait. Yeah. Just as long as I can yeah, before I'm going to start pulling triggers. Us. All right. I'm going to go. So the knights are not. One, two, three. They just don't scream, it's God's will, and charge. It's God's will. Us. One, two. How can you move closer? You, you can't move closer. Yeah, you're right. I can't move that because they're still in melee. So he has to stay at least two hexes away. So we could go to that tank. To get a bonus when recovering if he's next to a tank or something? He would get a bonus if there's a leader in there because uh, that leader. gives you a positive right. terrain modifier. Right. So three plus the leader, four, right? Minus one for the deck. Yeah, because right. he's uh, the squad one, is out two, of range. Three, four, five, six, so it's two. So, so it's three, three. It's four minus one. It's three. It's yep. One three. d six plus three. Yeah. Six. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Nine. And okay, not okay. so much. Not so much. So a plus three for everybody. Okay. So plus three. It's five. Oh. He's fine. Six. And an eight. He should. He's still shaking. I forgot they would have got the terrain modifier for that too, but it didn't make any difference for that guy. All right, All right. done. Your turn. 
Sniper. All right, so he had the Slayer, right? Yeah. So although nobody's probably going to move into there. Right. There it is. Because that guy is moving. I guess that's a... Uh, that's an interesting use is you, if you, it's an encouragement to fire early, right? Mm -hmm. Especially if you can block up an avenue of approach. Right. Yeah. All right, over to you. Okay. You still haven't done your tank yet, have you, buddy? I haven't moved the tank, I haven't moved the BMP, I haven't moved the hero. I don't know if I'll move him or not. Uh, well, because, uh, well, Pasa Rooney. I'm gonna move this hero up to here. Yeah, if I move him up there, he's gonna get shot at. Though. So what is it? Just you just fire with five power of zero. Firepower of zero. It says uh, yeah, I can do morale check. Yeah, so he fires at the designated test with a zero five power. So you'd be to zero firepower, you'd get 1d6 plus the leader. So he's going to fire, he'll be at a minus 2 for 2 degrading. But he'll get a plus 1 for moving, and then I'll get a plus 2 for being in there. In a wreck hex. So I'll roll 1d6 plus 2. You're going to roll 1d6 minus 1, minus 2. Minus one. I'm gonna take that chance because you've got to pass a morale check too. So he's gonna move in there. So see so if you can make your morale check. It's two dice, right? Yep. Eight. All right. This is where a squad has to be the sacrificial lamb. That's right. One, two. You can shoot at him if you want. But Doug, you can. You have the choice. Of it. What, what, how many moving points to move into the building too? Two. So you can either shoot at him. Uh, I will shoot and hope you do something, but then he's going to be spotted for this guy. Right. Or you can wait there and let me melee if I just determine to move into the building, which I can't shoot in there, but just have a melee battle. Sure. Choice, choice. Yeah, it's, it's a difficult conundrum. But you can have both of these guys can fire right? at this guy. I'll take my chances with him. Malay. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to move in there either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I figured. Because you've got the better odds. Yeah. I'd be at 1 to 2, you'd be at 2 to 1. Yeah. But now what happens is a good order unit next to you spots that hex so these guys can fire in. So they can fire anyway? Is that what you're saying? So now what you, you're basically spotted. So right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot at you. So right. now your choice is shoot it. Do I hit this guy? But even if you hit him, you're fired yeah. and I can still see it. Yeah. Oh, so either way it works. Yeah. You're kind of screwed. Yeah. 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 Once you get mobbed that heavily. <laughs> right, right. Interesting. Interesting. When you are coming. Where do you go for the... Uh, wipe those guys out. I needed eight. I mean, the only thing that's good about trying to get rid of these guys, if you kill the leader, my ability to rally anybody on that side of the board is, is nil. Yeah. Because the only people that can rally are the leader leader and the hero. Yeah. And does the victory conditions include... Uh, nah. It has nothing to do with kills. It's just purely the buildings. Uh, I was just wondering, but the, <coughs> is it a good order unit, or is it just a guy in the building? Uh, it just counts. Yeah. I think it's anybody that moves through. Yeah. But it's tough to move. No, it must be good order. Is it a good order? Yeah, so, so it's worth trying to kill that leader then. Yeah, because the leader can always rally himself yeah. and kill the infantry. Yeah, yeah so I'll take that. Uh, now, when I fire, the, okay, we're going to the end of the turn. So no matter what happens, you're spot. So we can do the first guy. So it's two. Plus, uh, nothing. They haven't moved, so you got 26 plus 2. So you got an 8. That's good. You got a uh, 2. So I've got a plus 6. 6, so that's 7. So it's a 7, so he's probably dead. 7 off. Because he's already wounded once. So he would be the shaken leader over there. This one? Yep. 
So he's in. So he's wounded again. So he's dead, right? Okay, so that's. Good. And then four. that guy is gonna suffer horribly. Plus seven, right? Yeah. So he might create a, a hero, but double be it. Double A. So he's dead, right? Now roll. Does it create a hero? No. So he, and the RPG stays in the hex, right? Yep. Just lays there in the dirt. Okay. And now. Now you get to blow that thing to I know kingdom exactly health. where you are. Um, I'm fragmented, so I'll have to make it. I cannot charge. All right, so we yeah. killed. We had Alita and a Alita squad and two there. squads. Were two there. squads. Yeah. Yep. All right. So they got destroyed. So I put some hurt on you. Oh yeah. yeah. Doesn't feel like I'm winning though. Well, you've, you've <laughs> killed. You've killed three squads of BMP and Alita. Not too bad. All right. So I'm going to uh, fire at you with the tank. So I'm going to start with the machine guns mm -hmm. and work my way down. So I've got uh, 1d6 plus 4. So we're basically rolling even odds. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to add anything to mine in either. Okay. So a 2. should be able to dodge that. 3. So you're fine. Then I roll a plus 2 and you'll have a plus 4. So I've got an 8. 9. Nothing happens. And then uh, I need a 10 or below. And you're in a heavy build, so you need a 6 or less. 5. So that's a hit. So it's going to be 1d6 plus 5. So a 7, and you've got a 1d6. So come on, come on, come on. It's a plus 1, so nothing. So you roll a plus 1 on your morale. You just don't roll high numbers. So six. So what's he got? Sweet. So it's shaken, shaken, right? Shaken, baby. But not stood. All right. So he's fired. He's acquired. Use that a second ago. So I'll move. Thank you. Yep, you can use up to half, and then when he fires, he's just at a minus two. Okay. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm going to show you a little bit about combined arms here. One, two, three, four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> What's up to here? I'll show you a little bit about combined arms here. <laughs> Dismounts, moves in. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, that's just wrong. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. <laughs> this guy off the goddamn map. <laughs> okay, so now, how does that happen in that way? Because he's already fine. There's no melee? Yeah, you're, he's shaking, so he can't do anything. Got melee. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. Ouch. That hurt. So, yeah, he moves up. He dismounts. Uses half the movement. Right. So, this guy dismounts. He's got two movements. Drops off. Moves in. Jumps in. Love it. Love that. Uh, what are we at? Turn three. We're gonna be at turn four of seven. Long ass battle. So I'm gonna have this build yeah, for sure. sure. I'll have this one. Yeah. I'll have that one more than likely. So there's three. Are you not? Oh yeah. You're not. Can I move my T62 up. This little punk ass thing. I'm just gonna swing around the backside and hit the M1 in the ass. <laughs> I'm gonna crush you with bullets. The red tide is coming for you. You've got to get this building. What you've got to get? Yeah, I've got to get one of those three. Yeah. At least for a minimal victory. Yeah. Yeah, but see, that's the whole thing, right? We gotta have fun. Let's have fun. <laughs> Come on, let's have fun. What? Now, when I fired, I could have done an, uh, an assault move. I could have fired and then moved. Well, doesn't that thing have a problem moving? Don't you have to roll. I gotta roll, but I gotta roll, right? Yeah. Just. If he pushes him back here. I'm going to fire the MGs at this guy. Alright. So you're 1d6 plus 2, and I'm just going to roll straight 1d6. Sure. So that's plus 3. Plus right? 3. 5 is good. Alright. So you're going to be fired. Fired. Do I try and blow that 113 up with your own weapons? That would be insulting if you did that. And I think so I'd be as a plus one for firing a captured support weapon. <laughs> that would almost be funny. So I'm going to try hitting your own vehicle with your own weapon. You need right. a two? You need a ten? So I need a nine. nine. But it's a plus one. Plus one. one. Right. Uh, you're adjacent, so it's a minus two. So I'm at a net minus one. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
1d6 plus 3. Yeah. 6, 6. 2, so I've got a plus 4. It's an 8. Okay. Now you clogged up that whole area. Yeah. So I was thinking that was something worth doing. Okay, that's your turn then. All right. I'm going to uh, try and finish this thing off here. Yeah. So what do we say? I've got four to one odds. Two, four, six, eight, nine to two, four to one. So they're all going to be dead. All right. That hurts. So you get the counterattack back. Oh, that's right. That's right. Counterattacks. So counter attacks. Three on four is one to two. So the ten are better, and you can take a squad out with you. Take them. Take them. Take them. Take them. Seven. Nothing. 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 Never got to find the 40 millimeter. What a bummer. I just wanted to make sure you were denied some level of fun during this meeting. All right. Back to you. All right. Pass. Come on! <laughs> Think I was gonna get all caught up in the moment? <laughs> this guy's gonna uh, uh, low crawl to here. To you? Pass. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, now though, we've been on the bombardment for four hours. Now it's uh, what? No, 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 better. Oh no, it didn't matter. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Do, 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 do. All right, back to you. Yeah, uh, still uh, uh. Yeah, this is this has been one of those, especially as early games for you guys. Learn the lessons like artillery doesn't. Really yeah, he's, uh, <laughs> then you'll, he's not then you'll in the vehicle either. He's just out in the open. Someone will have lucky dice. It'll be like hit, 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 hit. Pass. Cavalry unit. Yeah, I mean, he wiped out one of my cavalry units. My whole army is kind of like, oh, we got to switch shift away from those guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I'm starting somewhere. So one, two, three, four. Look at the price. You that, was, that was an excellent one. You did. Uh, yeah. So I think you did. It turned out to be, I mean, you, you know, it's like, oh, it's a mistake. I tried now, to I think to your M1 five. has those thermal it's sights it's on it. Yeah. I think possibly they can see through the smoke. Oh, you got the special rules? It's, a, it's some, some degradation, right? So you can attempt to spot units in the turret's covered arc if button. Subtracting two, still subtract two from the attempt. So you always subtract two. On a natural six, you have fail. If you're buttoned, you can still do it. Uh, TAS are not affected by smoke. So these guys are not affected by smoke? Yeah. So that, this blocking smoke right here, right. actually you can see that guy, they can see each other. Well, I can't see you, I don't think. So at T6, yeah, can you just check that and then, cause, and if I fire at you, then can you can you see me then? Not, because it, it's blocking, right? The only thing is the M1, M2, Cobra, Hind, and uh, the 901. So you can actually... Oh, come on, dude. Let's light you up. You that would just see my guy. That would be the only fun thing, right? Blowing up a, another tank. Oh, that'd be that'd be awesome. <laughs> so yeah, you you are not blocked, so you can fire. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's minimum. So you're still in the minimum. All right. Yeah. So I was in there going. There's something about that. So I ran across the open. I was like, can anybody see me? I was like, fuck, that tank can see me. That's cool. I shouldn't have told you. I could have backed in my tank away. <laughs> Yeah, that would have been a gracious yeah. win. <laughs> hey, by the way, yeah. oh, you could have seen it. Yeah. Hey, you know, uh, now that I think about it, uh, you, you, you should read the fucking rules. <laughs> you should read the fucking rules for your turn, though. You're just going to roll a 12, though. <laughs> <laughs> That'll back up. How funny would that have been, though? A little salt with that wound? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's actually easy. Alright, um, all right, so I'm rolling two. Why am I rolling two dice? I'm rolling two dice. Yeah, two, yeah. 11. Right. Hey, you want to look? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really not hard. Thank you, Lord of Dice. Oh, that's <laughs> 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 
flip it. That's awesome. fucking insane. That's gay. I quit. Go on. Oh. <laughs> Wanker. Just for that, I'm pausing the video. Well, if you were, a, you know, a fair and honest player, you would. Nope. <laughs> Even that acts as fast as I can. Definitely shoot that. So two dice, see what happens. I need force. Nine. Ten. Uh, that's Reroll the one. Spear. Oh. It's, it's hard. I had that same problem last year. Did you fire your guns there? That's awesome. That's insane. I'm going to shoot. Three bows, five bows in the back. Of the best. Mm. Oh, I think it's your turn here. Oh, yeah, thanks, buddy. Wanna <laughs> <laughs> kick my dog, too? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that is tragic. That really was tragic. Yes. That gave me options and took them away from you. You what? I said that gave me options and took them away oh, from so you. so much, so much so. Yeah, very much so. Now I've got to worry about my ass. <laughs> Okay, you can stop now. Chuckling time is over. Hold on a sec, I'm going to get a picture of these dice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ought to. Yeah, you can post that up tonight. I'll just be prepared to deal with my comments. Yeah, it's been three or four weeks. I haven't been banned for a while, so it's probably time. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Especially after bantering about it, like for... <laughs> Three or four minutes. I'm like, oh, yeah, oh, so funny. You oh, probably roll a 12. Oh, imagine if you roll a 12. Can you imagine if you actually roll a 12? How funny would it be if you rolled a 12? He rolled, what are we talking about again? He rolled a 12. <laughs> okay. Do you want to copy this picture, too? Uh, would you send it to me by email? Because that would really help. That would be special. It would make me feel good. I'm going to keep it on my wall. You can put, you can frame it, put it right next to the rec marker. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna put you right next to a rec marker in a minute. <laughs> oh, that was a thing of beauty. Seven. Hey, at least if he stands, you'd be fine there. Because nobody can see. I mean, these guys can't shoot at you. I was gonna look cool. I was gonna look cool with that. God, took all the fun away. Yeah. It is now my impact. Is my turn to roll Finny. That guy's got an M60 with him, doesn't he? He's still a pretty potent dude. Are we rolling one? Alright, my sniper's gonna try and pick those guys up. So I'm gonna, uh, Evans is the officer. He's going for the officer again. Seven. So you've got a uh, plus four? Six, plus four, right? Yep. Yeah. I keep rolling. Well, I keep rolling. So uh, nothing happens. Yeah, I roll one or two and whatever else. You know, it's minus two if you roll a one. Okay, so now I can find this yep. guy. Now he's spotted. And uh, one of these, he's got a plus four for a terrain. Right. <laughs> and I've got no degradation, so it's just a straight up one. So it'll just be a straight up roll between these two guys. Right. Oh, yeah. Okay. And puffy shirt and uh, of course, I got a plus two. two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's a five. He's fine. He's fine. Okay. Other charges. Um, you know what? If I charge, you're forced to evade because you're light. No, I hero could make a crazy charge into it. <laughs> and that I would like to see. And then he would just have to roll to get into the hex. One, two, three, four, five. Can't get in there. One, two, three, four, five. Then he'd have to pass a morale check to assault in there. <coughs> and then it would be 1d6 plus 2 minus 1d6 plus 1. It's not great odds. Not at all. Not before now, because they will both stay. Yes. Oh, that's right. If you're, but you oh, will. There's some super off. shitty odds. You don't have to stay. To sometimes you just got to do some silly shit. Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Got to have fun sometimes. All right. So he's making the dash. One, two, three, four, five. Because he's just in that rex in the open. Yep. All right. So he makes the run in there. Just morale roll. 
Sweet. He gets it. Makes it. <laughs> so it's just firepower versus your weakest armor. Okay. So I've got a plus two. You've got a plus one. Six. Four. So it blows up, right? That is unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing me, dude. George <laughs> Oh. Oh, that's great. Yuri, what do I do with this Molotov cocktail? Give it to me, watch me. I'll show you. <laughs> Across the fields of fire, I will go. Ramp. Oh, that was beautiful. Alright, it's your turn. Duh. So I'm not your trust gen you want a picture of Yuri? Who, who ran across yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Who ran across 300 meters of open terrain. Then I'll tempt the with these guys. Yeah, one, two, three. Yeah, of course you will. Easy for you to do with a BMP back in your ass up. Yeah. Where did I get all these men from? Oh, that's right. None of them have really died. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm just thinking. Uh, pass. <laughs> Does it take a lot of thought to make a move like that? <laughs> Penalize you. You'll be at a zero. It'll be 1d6 versus 1d6 again. Actually, you'll be at a minus one. Because you've got 1d6 plus 2. Right. Plus 1 for moving is 3, plus 2 is 5. Minus 1 for smoke, plus 1 for. Well, the minus 1 for smoke, plus 2 for the wreck. So you're at a plus 2, is that right? Yeah, I think you're at a plus 2 till this turn. 8, and 5, so plus 3. So the first guy horribly fails. The next guy, same thing. So six, yeah. But right, we've, lit, we've lit my boys up. There they are in the open. You're in the light woods. All right. All right. So uh, now that I can see you, I might as well try and hit you with these guys. So we'll start with the tank. Why not? Why? Let's go with the big stuff first. Now yeah, we'll go with the BMP first. We'll see if I can kill them with the cheap stuff. So I'm going to fire with the machine gun first. So, uh, plus, I've got 1d6 plus 2, and you've got uh, Light Force is plus 1. Light Woods is plus 1, Smoke is plus 2, so you'll have plus 2, so it's going to be even odds. We're both at a plus 2, okay. So I've got a 5. Yeah, five so nothing happens. Fires the gun, 8 or less, uh, 7 or less. First goes to... Seven it is. All right. So 1d6 plus three. So I've got a nine. Yeesh. It's going to hurt. Six. No. So you've got a plus six for your damage check. Come on, baby. Roll a six. One, one, one. Oh, you suck. So he's shaken, but you roll for a hero. Right. You get a hero. I could use a hero right now. I could do something. Isn't that a song? You have four. And there's the guy right there. Finally, something positive happens, and I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna kill him with the tank. I know. Uh, uh, Salta, leader only. Oh yeah, and stuff like that. Leader only. Lucky man. What is it? Lucky man. Lucky man. Yeah, uh, we're gonna see how lucky he is here in one second. <laughs> All right, back to you. And he has the same status as these guys. So I don't he's shaking. He's fired. No, he's not shaking, but he's fired. Oh, he is fired. Okay. Okay. What? Well, I have nothing to do. Right. All right. T62. So uh, I'm gonna fire the first machine gun. So plus four. He's an eight. And you've got a plus two. All right. 
Okay, you, you, throw, you roll an eight. Now this doesn't say when it when it can be played. It's, it can only be played once. When you play, this card adds or subtracts three from any die roll, be it the owners or the enemies that involves this hero. If the owner is a leader, yeah. yeah. So you could use it now, and you can either decrease this, which would be a five, right? Or you can increase whatever you want. Right. I'm not going to use it yet, though. I'm going to wait for the moment. So you've got a three, I've got an eight. It's a plus five. So it's going to be a plus five, or you can make it a plus two, which is far more survivable. Right, but then you've got the gun. How can I do it as well? Then your ordinance. Oh, yeah. yeah, that was just, I'm, I'm using the main machine gun, then the coax, and then the gun. Right. I know. So <laughs> choosing whether I die now or later. That's all. I'm just... So plus five on my roll. Yeah, what's his morale? Six. Seven. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm okay. So you got a plus five? Go ahead, roll. No, you roll. I roll. You. I roll. So plus five for the hero. No. So he's wounded. Right. Unless you want to use your guard. No. So the hero's wounded. And then plus five for the squad. Right. Right, right. So, you're just, you're nine, nine. so it's not twice as much, but a shake, and they take casualties. Yeah. So you get a. Let's get you a little half squad here. Alright, so now I'm going to go to the next machine gun. So I've got a plus two, you've got a plus two. So I'm just going to roll a straight die. Four. Five, nothing happens. So now, uh, the big gun, ten. ten. Minus one. Minus two because of the smoke. Smoke. So I need an eight or lower. So no, he's going to miss on that. Unless you want to use your card to lower my roll to an eight. Let me. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just say, no, well, you know that happen. might be a bad idea. Alright, uh, I gotta... Or I go in with three to one with the leader. And I'm going to take the leader with me. Everybody's making the dash in there for... Alright, so three to one. Wasn't it? Sorry. Uh, is my, does my hero have a modifier as well? Only when he attacks. Only when he attacks? Yeah. Okay. So in your counter attack, you just have to pick somebody and hope for the best. Right. Got him. He's dead. Okay, so he's a dead man walking. Yeah. So uh, there's his choices. I've got fours no matter what. So it's going to be a one to two. One to two. So it's a one to two. <laughs> so you need a ten or better. There's no points to... <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> oh, God. That is so good. Forced me to use all my uh, best troops trying to get that son of a bitch. Alright, your turn. Nope. Nothing. I think we're done, right? Pretty close to it. I mean, it's up to you. Because I've got one, two, three, four buildings. Right. This guy's going to be hard pressed to survive. This guy can't occupy a building. And then uh, we can always just play the chess match of jumping into that building for five. Yeah. So it's up to you. Yeah. I mean, I could, I can get a guy in there, but he's not going to, he's not going to make it. He's no matter what, I'm getting four for a minor victory. Right. Right. And then uh, eventually all I'm going to do is move a squad kind of up. Mm -hmm. Because since he already fired, that's what I was kind of looking at doing, was moving a squad over adjacent. You either fire or you don't. Either way, you're spotted. Sniper takes another shot. Hero can move in. These guys move up. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's the plan to swamp that position this turn. So it's up to you. We can call it a, a game or... A yes, I, I'll declare. I'll declare you victor. Does it make sense, the system? It's pretty yeah. easy, huh? Yeah, it's pretty easy. It really is.